Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petruto, and today I'm going to show you which table saw blades I use in my table saw. I used three different blades. For 99% of my cuts, I use a 40 tooth thin curve combination blade. Combination blades such as this is great for ripping and cross cutting. A regular table saw blade has a curve or the thickness of the cut of one eighth of an inch. I use a thin curve blade which is thinner. It has a thinner cut and my curve is 3 32nds of an inch. Thin curve blades are great for lower powered table saws such as this. This table saw that I use is a saw stop and it is one and three quarter horsepower that runs on 110 volt. Since the blade is thinner, it means it's removing less material, which means it needs less power to make the cut. And using a thin curve blade also means there's less waste and less dust. And really, the thin curve blade is just easier on your table saw motor. In most cases, you could easily use a regular curved blade in a table saw this size, as long as your blade is sharp and you use a proper feed rate. But in my case and in my shop, when I use a full curved blade and cut thick pieces, I tend to pop the breakers every once in a while. So my preference is just to use the thin curved blade. And just as a side note, if you have a saw stop like I do, they recommend nothing thinner than 3 seconds of an inch. The brand of blade I'm using in my table saw is Forest. Early on, I was told that Forest makes the best blades, so it's all I've ever used. There are two routes that you can take when buying a blade for your table saw. You can go for the more expensive blade and get it sharpened, or you could buy the cheaper blades and throw them out when they're dull. I chose the more expensive route by buying the higher end blade by Forest. Currently, this blade sells for $111 on Amazon and Forest will sharpen them for 25 bucks. To me, that's totally worth it and it's less wasteful. Would I recommend Forest blades? Absolutely. Will the cheaper blades work? Absolutely. So one of the problems of using a combination blade, and a combination blade is a blade that rips and cross cuts, is the tooth orientation. When you don't cut all the way through the wood, it doesn't leave a flat bottom, as seen here. So when you need a flat bottom, such as when you're cutting tenons or a box joint jig, this blade is not ideal, and you need a flat bottom grind blade. So in cases where you need a flat bottom, such as when you're making tenons or a box joint jig, this blade is not ideal. Oh, you gonna let it all hang out. And for that, I use a full curve flat bottom blade. Fat bottom girls, you make the rocking world go round. For these types of cuts, I use a full curve blade because I want to remove as much material as possible when making tenons. And typically, I'm not cutting all the way through a thick board. I'm only cutting part way through. And here, you can actually see the difference between the thin curve blade and the full curve blade. And you can see that the full curve blade gives a flat bottom where the thin curve has this like slight little U right here. So here's the tenon cut with the flat bottom blade. Compare it to the one cut with the combination blade. Big difference, lots of cleanup there. A nice, smooth tenon there. Before we get to the third blade that I use, I wanna tell you about how you can help me out. Now hang tight, this isn't gonna take long. Seriously, hold on. So here's a really cool way that you can help me out without spending any extra money. I'm gonna put a link to Amazon down below. When you click on that link and you buy anything on Amazon, Amazon kicks some money back to me and it doesn't cost you a thing. Seriously, Amazon is happy that I'm bringing traffic to their site and then they reward me for that and you can buy anything. It doesn't cost you any extra. All you have to do is click on that link. So if you need to buy diapers or any one of these blades or you need a new horse head for Halloween, use the link down below. I will also have direct links on Amazon to the products that I mentioned. Now let's get back and talk about the third blade that I use. The third blade that I use is actually a set of blades, which is a dado stack. This is my dado stack made by Freud. Typically these dado stacks come in smaller diameters. I have the eight inch version. I believe there's also a six inch, but that six inch is not compatible with my table saw. So with my dado stack, I can cut a quarter inch wide all the way up to 3 16ths of an inch wide and everything in between. And it uses a series of stackable blades and spacers. This dado stack is great for cutting dados. That's why it's called a dado blade and a great way to quickly cut tenons.
Now, I typically don't use the dado stack to cut tenons because with my particular saw, I had to change out the break for the smaller blade diameter. And so it doesn't take me that much longer to use the flat bottom grind blade that we mentioned earlier to cut my tenons. So let me know in the comments down below what blade or blades you use in your shop. Everybody has a different situation. So posting what you use may help out somebody else that's reading the comments. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. Be sure to not use this finger. If you want to become part of the Make Something team, visit patreon.com to learn how you can do so. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so you want to subscribe. All right, guys, we'll see you Thursday. Have fun and make something.